Oh shit. Don't move. It's fine. Don't move. Eat the cookie. <laughs> 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 This is like my millionth time recording this. I have a really hard time talking to the camera for some reason today. But uh, I shaved my head a while ago. I buzzed it. Um, and I didn't want to like just not do anything funny with it. So I came up with a bunch of haircuts, that hairstyles that don't exist. Or at least I hope they don't exist. Um, so yeah, that's what this video is. And here they all are. Enjoy. This is my first hairstyle. I call it the normie. I had this hairstyle back when I was in high school. It's a very normal, unassuming, and approachable kind of look. A typical Asian male hairstyle with a quarter part. If you have this haircut, you're probably just a normal dude trying to live your normal life, maybe pursue something professionally while you spend most of your free time hanging out with your friends at your local Korean church. And honestly, if you go to any Korean church, you'll probably find at least 10 kids with the same exact hairstyle. And that's why I call it the normie. My second hairstyle is called the David Choi. I call this the David Choi because literally every single David Choi I've ever met has had this hairstyle at one point in their life. If you have this hairstyle, you probably speak perfect Korean and English, but have like a really cute Korean accent when you speak English, even though you're born in the States. And if you weren't, it probably means that you're fresh out the Piangi and you brought your forehead shame with you. And that your name is David Choi. Your name is definitely David Choi. This one is called, when someone who shouldn't have a middle part is curious about what they would look like with a middle part, so they pull the trigger, but it backfires and they end up looking just as ugly as their friends told them they would look with a middle part. Middle part. If you got this haircut, you're probably someone who shouldn't have a middle part, but were curious about what you would look like with one, so you pulled the trigger, but it backfired, leaving you to look just as ugly as your friends told you you would look. This one is called the Rufus Dick or the Mushroom Top. I, I did this one just because it looks really stupid. There's, there's no jokes here. It itself is the joke. I look really so dumb. I, I look dumb in all of them, but this one looks the dumbest. I'm sure you can kind of infer what's going on here. This haircut is called the Nest. That's because it looks like a nest. If you decide to get this haircut, I recommend that you use it as a conversation starter, particularly to let people know that grocery bought chicken eggs are actually a chicken's menstruation, not an unborn chick. Some people think that all the eggs you eat are just unborn chicks and that if you wait long enough that they'll turn into chickens and that doesn't make any sense and I cannot believe that there are people that exist that still think that. Eggs are hence periods. They're yummy periods. Speaking of chickens, I call this one the Mo Chicken. I'm not really sure what I was trying to do here. I think I was trying to make my hair look really tall, but it ended up looking like one of those floppy red things that chickens have on their heads. I looked at what they were called and they're called combs. Like, and the bottom red things are called waddles. For some reason, waddles look like they'd be called waddles, but I'm not really that convinced that comb is a good name. I like chicken mohawks better, and, and because we're not talking about hawks here, let's just substitute hawk with chicken. And there you go, you got yourself the mo chicken. For my next haircut, I did like pigtail buns, which I really think should just be called pig ears, for obvious reasons. I don't know, I, I really like this haircut, and it made me feel real cute. I've been playing a lot of online chess recently, and that kind of inspired this next haircut, the chess board. Or you could call it the checkers board if, you know, you're not smart enough to play chess. Oh. This is John. He is a pretentious loser who thinks he's smarter and more interesting than he really is. In reality, John sucks at chess and at all other things he tries to be good at. But he actually tries really, really, really hard to be good at chess. And he still sucks really 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 bad fuck john this one is an attempt at making a hat with my hair so literally hat hair the bangs here act as kind of like the brim of your hat hair hair hat this is for those that like to wear hats but also like to flex their hair with the hat hairstyle you don't need to compromise you can just do both so this one is one of my failed ideas i thought i mean they're all failures they're all really shitty but this is like the worst one I thought it would be cool if I shaped my hair into a, like a cup or a bowl and used it for milk, but my hair was a little too short and my gel was a little too weak and my idea was a lot too stupid and not thought out enough, but here's our attempt anyways. Yeah. We're good? Yeah, right. Do you think it's gonna... It's 100% okay. gonna pour on your face. Okay, go. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Don't move. 
It's fine. Don't move. Eat the cookie. <laughs> this last one is called The Hilt. With this hairstyle, I can be wielded by a worthy warrior and become a devastating weapon to any and all opponents that stand in the way of justice. If properly harnessed, my power will grant the wielder with strength unknown, and our legacy will be permanent and passed down for generations and generations to come. The enemy will fear us, our subordinates will respect us, and vengeance will be delivered once and for all. That's it. That's all the hairstyles. Thanks for watching. Um, here are all of them in like a salon handbook style format. Uh, if you ever want to go and get one of these yourself, I don't know why anybody would want to do that. That would be insane. But if you do, let me know. Um, I would be really proud. Oh, also, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Like, oh, John did a YouTube video about his hair. John did a haircut video. Why didn't you do a, an Avatar The Last Airbender haircut with like the arrow and whatever? And to that I say, please be original. I'm trying to be an artist. I'm trying to be a creator. I'm trying to do things other people haven't done before. Think outside the box, okay? Please, goodbye. No way. Don't you make me grab this? This is so stupid. This is a balancing act. Not nothing to do with the hair. Wow, you didn't spill that. What a waste of milk. You this is a gross ass cup. I got my hair on it so I can hide. You gotta, gotta keep it rolling. <laughs>